To live here in Navajo Nation, most must learn to make do. And tonight, in the age of coronavirus, it's even harder. How long does it take to go down the road? If it's a muddy road, it takes about two hours. So you're really isolated. Yes, we are. Then this one. Catherine Paymella's family has been on this land for generations. She says they got electricity about a decade ago. It works sometimes. But most alarming, they live here with no running water. I think we're abandoned pretty much. At least 30% of the homes on the reservation have no running water. Wells so often go dry or are contaminated. One contaminant, uranium from previous federal government mining. People who do go to water sources and collect it where there's uranium, they're getting sick. This is a local pump, open only a few hours a week. But sometimes... The water turns um, yellow or red. It's not safe for anybody. Do you think the U.S. federal government has the best interest of indigenous people at heart? Well, the record now shows no, but I am hopeful, of course. The hope this crisis may bring lasting change to a people known for their resilience. Cynthia McFadden, NBC News, from Navajo Nation. Kohalo Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Kohalo Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Kohalo Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai.